Nissan say that their new solid state battery is going to be a game changer. A high ranking official at Nissan has confirmed they are going to launch solid state batteries in their electric cars in three years time, could be less than three years time, in 2028. These batteries will enable the range of Nissan's EVs to potentially double. The new Nissan LEAF has a range of 604 kilometers. With these new batteries, it could be 1,200. That's if this is in fact the real world and we're not talking about a Disney fantasy. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Guys, I'll be at the EV Auto Show, 27th, 28th, and 29th. That's next weekend. Love to see you there. I'll put a link in the description so you can get a 25% discount on your tickets. Nissan, they are, well, in dire straits financially, and their sales are going down. Recent reports have suggested that Nissan is facing more problems with sales. A couple of models in the US, the US is now the most important market for Nissan. It used to be China, it's now the US. A couple of them are not just not selling. And that's a problem. But Nissan is spruiking their solid state batteries. They say their first production EV featuring this really game-changing battery tech will come out in 2028, so only a few years from now. They're promising it will deliver enormous upgrades in range, charging speed, cost, packaging, improvements that will have all EV manufacturers, including Tesla, everyone, BYD, everyone will be going, hang on a minute, is Nissan really beating all of us? Is this actually true? The Japanese automaker has been working on a solid state battery for many years now, and they are reaffirming their commitment. They say this is not vaporware like Toyota solid state battery from 2014. This is real. Christoph Amblad, Nissan's director of product planning in Europe, told Auto Express, yes, we will be ready for solid state batteries in 2028. Guys, I'm curious, do you believe this? Do you think this is true? Do you think Nissan really has a solid state battery that's, you know, I mean, to be to be honest, they did say 2026, and now they're saying 2028. Could they change this to 2030 and then 2032? Just add on two years every time you get to the actual point. And that's what Toyota has done. Toyota said that in 20, I believe it was 2019, that, that all their EVs would have solid state, and they keep on putting a couple of years on constantly. But, hey, if Nissan does have this, this could save the company. In fact, it probably would save them because... There's no other car company that has their own solid state battery, except for Toyota's mythical solid state battery. There's, there's no one else that has one. This would be the kind of tech that could bring back Nissan from the dead. When I say from the dead, I mean, guys, they, they are literally scheduled to go bankrupt. Most actual AI, most metrics say that Nissan will be bankrupt within two years. Amblad was quick to point out, though, that Nissan won't be rushing this new technology to market. He said, we can't rush the process. We have to be sure this technology is reliable and ready to meet our customers' expectations. So what does that mean? Well, who knows? Could mean anything. Solid state batteries will boost energy density by 30 to 40% compared to current lithium battery packs that Nissan are using. And that's compared to Nissan's new batteries that enable the Nissan Leaf to have almost double the range of the previous generation. And they say they're going to be cheaper to produce and compatible with ultra-fast charging. Now, will, be they, will they be cheaper to produce even if they're smaller? Absolutely not. Do not believe anyone that makes that claim. I'd be willing to bet anything against that. Will they be eventually cheaper to produce in 10, 15, 20 years' time? Maybe but not within the next 10 years. It's simply not feasible. I mean, you'd have to build up massive gigafactory scales, uh, levels of production capacity, you know, huge production lines, massive, massive numbers going through to enable the batteries to be cheaper than the cheapest lithium ion phosphate or the cheapest sodium ion batteries today. That's just not going to happen in the short term. So Nissan's claims on that front are a complete lie. Nissan know this, and they're obviously intentionally making it sound like, in 2028, don't worry, we're going to have the cheapest batteries in the world. They're going to be highest energy density. If these are going to be fine for Nissan, that's not really accurate. They, they, these batteries will be much more expensive to manufacture if they do become real in 2028. You know, if Nissan does have this battery in 2028, it'll be much more expensive than an alternative lithium-ion phosphate battery. But eventually, it's certainly possible 
that solid state batteries will be cheaper in the long run, but we're talking many years down the track. So Nissan say by having solid state batteries, they can improve the range enormously. And there's a good chance that Nissan will bring back, if they're still in business, bring back the Nissan GDR, put a solid state battery in the Nissan GDR as their premium halo car. In 2023, Nissan teased the Hyper Force concept, which was a crazy car that had 1,341 horsepower. That might be a hybrid, or it could be a, I mean, it potentially could be a supercar with solid state batteries. I mean, potentially, I'm not saying it's gonna happen. Getting back to the story, Amblard hinted that solid state batteries could find a place in plug-in hybrid vehicles as well. I've never heard this before, and I don't know why that would be the case. Why the hell if you had a solid state battery in your car that can charge in five minutes and give you a thousand kilometers or 600 miles of range, why would you want to drag around an engine as well? But anyway, he says this, we're not sure where the technology could lead, but we are actively exploring all potential applications. And that was in reference to a question about it being a, uh, about it being a solid state hybrid vehicle. Nissan isn't entirely sure what the future will hold because the company needs money desperately. It, it needs to pay $7 billion this year. It doesn't have the money and it's losing money still. I mean, it lost $5 billion last year. But, I mean, if they can pull this off, that would be huge to helping the company survive. I mean, it would potentially make an investor want to buy into the company. And here's the issue. If Nissan does in fact have solid state battery technology right now that will go into their cars and really go into their cars in 2028, then I can tell you right now, another automaker would want to buy them or at least invest in them. But no one does. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. We've just found out guys that um, Nissan, their merger with Honda and Mitsubishi, the deal is dependent on Nissan meeting certain numbers, which are going to be almost impossible to hit. So basically Honda can just pull out of this. And remember Honda is bailing out Nissan here. It's not the other way around and Honda will be in charge of this new company. However, the big problem is that um, Nissan, their profits plunged by 90% in 2024, and yet they have to triple their profits in 2025 in order to, for this merger to be actually approved. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. I want to say a big thank you to our Patreon supporters. Really appreciate you guys. I'll put a link in the description to our Patreon page if you want to support us on there. But a big thank you, guys. I really, really appreciate you. Nissan must triple its profits to merge with Honda in 2024. 